Hey guys, what's going on? So, uh, today I decided to uh, come up with another recipe. I uh, did some research online and I'm looking for just, you know, different ways to change up lean proteins like chicken and fish and turkey. So, um, I uh, decided to, well, here's my inspiration. I actually went out to, um, to eat some Chinese with my wife, a place called Pei Wei, uh, which is like fast Chinese food. Um, but the good news is there's, you can ask them to uh, adjust the cuisine to your, your uh, dietary needs. So I just asked them for chicken and broccoli steamed. Um, that's it, um, with some white rice. I didn't really eat the rice, but it comes with it. And uh, the sauce on the side. Um, this way you can control the salt and the sodium. So um, that's what I did. And I ate the chicken with a little bit of uh, vinegar and some um, spicy mustard. It was pretty good. So I said, okay, all right. So I like this idea and it inspired me. I said, hey, why don't I just go home and steam some chicken myself? You know, it's just another cooking method. So um, I went to the store, I bought some chicken breast. I'm uh, preparing, oh, little fly there. I'm uh, preparing um, my food for the week and got chick uh, six large chicken breasts. And this video will kind of give you an idea of how I prepared it. Now, I'm always looking for flavor without the salt. So um, I actually broke up 10 heads of garlic and I put them on a, um, a large sheet and I'm baking them for 30 minutes. Now this is a different method where you know some of you guys take a head of garlic, slice it in half, roll it up in some uh, foil, bake it for like 45 minutes to an hour. This one I'm doing, it's taking me 30 minutes, but it took me a little bit more prep time and the reason I did this one is to yield more garlic. See, if you take the clove of garlic and you you know slice it in half and you and you bake it and it gets nice and brown and you squeeze it out the roasted garlic there's still a lot of garlic still left in the peels so to, to kind of get more you know yield out of the garlic um, I just took the garlic cloves cut off the little woody end the you know that little rough end of each of the cloves um, total prep time 35 minutes and I did 10 heads of garlic laid it on a sheet and then I'm baking it in the oven at 325 for uh, 30 minutes and um, hopefully it should turn out just fine and uh, I'll, I'll show you the finished product. So the goal here is to steam the chicken and then mash up the roasted garlic as kind of a topping along with some fresh lemon and that'll and then what I can do is change it up as far as um, you know making it with mixed vegetables maybe I'll dice it up and, and put the steamed chicken in a pita with some yogurt so the point is the proteins done but then you could dress it up all different ways so um, anyway I hope everybody is uh, having a nice day today um, Martin Luther King Jr. is um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s day is being um, observed today so I am observing the day off and I figured let me use this opportunity to uh, uh, you know, prep and get you guys another recipe. So uh, let's see how it turns out. And uh, thank you guys for all your continued support. All right, let's see how it looks.
incredibly dominant through the quarterfinal six on a federal election as a record as a defending champion. On the men's side, Roger Federer will now get Joe Sonka in 15 minutes of big matches. Andy Murray has the real outside in the quarterfinals and Charlie, the all Spanish quarter, Jorge Alamandro, and Djokovic, and for David Novak survived that five hour fourth round match. So Patrick, I'm going to start with the, the men's side, Djokovic. Recovers pretty well. He's a pretty amazing athlete. Is he the team condition going to be a factor against Burdick? What does Omar have to do to beat him after losing all 10 straight on hard court? So, well, I've been really impressed with Burdick so far here. I think he's in great shape. He helped the Czech Republic win Davis up last year, which I think he gave him a lot of confidence. But he's certainly going to have to put the match in his life. Obviously, Joe you would expect him to maybe start the match a little bit slowly. So what does he have to do? He's got to start off quickly. He's got to serve well and take his opportunity opportunities when he can. If he can get on top of Joe Kibbe, he's got a chance to win this match. All right, let's take a look at the day nine menu. We're on a little bit of a roll here. We'll see if the matches continue with the momentum. Here will be Maria Sharapova. Again, yeah, she's not even losing games. And she has been coaching people, serving well. To be Ferrer, Nadal's absence, the number four seed against a man who's beaten all 12 head to head. But Bob's got very quiet old number four and quite the contender for this title. And then, of course, it's Djokovic. off some chicken breast. I have six of them here. And I made my own little spice rub. Mixed it up with a tablespoon of paprika, garlic, onion powder, um, sage, cumin. I mean really at the end of the day it's really all about your spices that you like. The key thing is I don't have any um, uh, salt, you know. So I'm putting all these chicken breasts in this Ziploc container with the spices and I'm going to shake it up. I, I washed these chicken breasts and patted them dry on these paper towels as you can see. And now shake it all up. All those spices kind of like a good way to you know get that rub in there. Some of you guys like do uh, like barbecue rubs. You know, this is a good way to get, get that dry rub in there with the chicken. All right, take a second. I really rub it in. All that spices. All right, now that's prepped, let's go ahead and go to the stove where the water is boiling. Okay. So now that the water is boiling, 
I'm gonna go ahead and steam this chicken. So what I did is, you see the chicken, got the dry rub on there, and I am going to place this colander on top of the water and cover it. I actually took some um, lemon rind and I uh, peeled the, um, not the rind, the, the zest. So to actually to flavor the water and give the uh, chicken like a lemony flavor. You wanna be careful here. Just drop it on there and bam, cover. Now, just, I set the timer. Oh, that's still going on the garlic. So you wanna set another timer for uh, 30 minutes. I'll lower the heat a little bit. It's probably like medium low. At this point, it's all just about steaming the chicken and 30 minutes should be done. So stay tuned. Let's see how all right, it guys. Works. I just took out the garlic out of the oven. Um, I actually ended up keeping in there for 30 minutes at 325 and then I uh, lowered it to uh, 250 for 10 more minutes just to make sure it really got nice and brown as you can see it looks beautiful. Here's the, uh, the test just to make sure. So what you do is uh, it's hot but I take the skin out and as you can see it comes out nice and brown. Here's the mash test. Oh, look at that, like butter, like butter. So as you can see, it, oh man, that is beautiful. I'm not gonna waste this. So you get most of the garlic, and the goal here is to mash this up with a little bit of fresh lemon. And I'm gonna go ahead and dress my chicken with it. Now here's the steamed chicken. Yeah, that's beautiful. With all those spices on there. Very important, you buy a food thermometer. Now this is not a fancy one, but the key thing for chicken is that you're at over 165. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this chicken breast, the thickest part, put it in there. Let's take a look. It has to be at least 165. Almost there. So what I'll do is, and this has been here about 35 minutes, so it's right there, like 160. I'll try another piece just to see for consistency. Let's try this one here. Whoa, okay. Yeah, so it looks like I didn't stick the uh, probe in further, for, far enough. Way, it's well past 160. It's like 180. All right. Very good. All right, guys, so that's my recipe, roasted garlic with um, some steamed chicken breast. But when you add the spices and you focus on the cooking technique, that's the key to uh, delicious food without it tasting bland. So hope you enjoy this recipe and uh, thank you guys for all your continued support. Uh, remember, um, I'm still a work in progress. You know, I, was, I just started my journey originally 600. Right now I'm at 480 and change. And, um, you know, the goal is to just keep going and you guys uh, see the transformation. I'm not focused on the number. I want my body to do the talking versus my mouth. And so I want to thank you guys for all your continued support. And I encourage you guys to share this video with anybody out there who is heavy, has a lot of weight to lose, doesn't have the energy to get up and do anything. You know, if I can do it, so can you. Uh, so share this with anyone you think that could use some ideas for healthy eating, especially those who are watching their salt intake. All right, guys. God bless you all and appreciate all your support. Take care. Bye-bye.